Hey, sound check. One, two. And sorry, everyone. Sorry about that, Kanina. Uh, I was having issues with my microphone. So I'm using a headphone right now. I hope you can hear me properly. Let me just adjust this really quick. Let me see if I can hear myself. And pasensya na, pasensya na. Alright. Good morning, everyone. And uh, pasensya na. It's kind of late. It's 8.23. We're 10 minutes late sa schedule. Naka system issues lang. But I hope everything is okay now. I think okay na. Alright. Pasensya na. Um... Today we're going to be talking about the moving average 20 MA20, how I use it, the secrets of MA20. Uh, it's, it's been very effective in my trading and I'm going to teach you that today. So those who are just uh, watching the replay of the video, kindly move forward to around 20 minutes of the video for the for the replays because uh, that is when we will be starting our discussion. First up, I'm going to be reading your uh questions uh, comments any greetings you want to do you want to give uh, please post it in the comments we'll sign that in yet so good morning it's Friday last trading day of the week we're gonna be talking about that also so ayan, um, good morning to my daughter like I am to me to me to me microphone I was just checking it out I hope you can hear me properly and I don't think it's the same as uh, yung isang microphone ko, but uh, at least this is working. I hope it's well for you. Can you please comment if my problema kay sa audio? Alright. Um, and morning, Sir Lloyd. Ayun, mumble, Sir. And okay na. Alright, let me just move it closer. Some I hope you can hear me properly. P please let me know if you have issues with uh, with the audio. Alright, anyways, uh, ayan, good morning to my daughter, Laika. And we were, we were spending time yesterday because it Christmas Martin la yesterday. Ayan, um, I wasn't trading that much yesterday because the market was really red. But there are some stocks na tinitingna natin. We entered a few days ago na lumilipad naman. Kahapon, nag all-time high si Jollibee. Alright, JFC um, almost reached 310 yesterday. Right, the recommended Jollibee. I remember earlier this week, right, use a breakout strategy. Um, uh, it was uh, it was good yesterday, right? Um, the reason is I always tell you I don't see any reason why walang Jollibee support niyo if matagal na kayo nagsisimula, right? Um, if hindi niyo na si Jollibee from two forty, uh. Uh, there's some there must be something wrong with your investment uh, investment uh, bias that's why I've been telling you always uh, there's no reason why you don't have Jollibee in your uh, in your in your ports especially for investors okay um, siguro reason is medyo mahal na ngayon but the past few days uh, why haven't been we been getting into Jollibee right again I taught you this the uh, majority of your uh, of your money should go into protecting your investment, and the way to protect your investment is put it on safe stocks like JFC, SMBH, right? So mga ganito mga stocks, mature aakit ang pera nyo, and only put a little portion of your money into trading. Right? Let me see if may problema talaga sa audio mga tao. Sa um, sir, pa shout out parents ko, oh, but lose pati. Tita ko, si Sol, nanood kami habang bumabiyahe. Good morning sa inyo. Ingat po sa biyahe from Ralph JVR. And I think okay naman. Uh, may, nag may nagtatanong dito, sir. Legit po ba yung itoro from Mona Lisa? Um, so far, so good. I'm, I'm, I'm investing in itoro. Um, if you want to see my port, yeah, I'm keeping my port public. Right? So, just to be legit. <laughs> right, this is my port in... Uh, Itoro, I'm invested. I've invested in gold. All right, this is my entrance right here. When it did a breakout, pumasa ko dyan and confirmed that so, uh, that resistance. No, not fail no on. I did not cut my losses. It was very near. This is the reason why you don't cut your losses very near the support. I hope you can see that. See that? Yeah, I did a breakout strategy. This was the previous resistance and the breakout. Pumasa ko dito on the confirmation of the bounce of the support. 
and then um, it failed hindi ako nag cut loss why it's still very near I don't know how to how to check the how much percentage was the difference from here to here but it didn't reach my tolerance level of 5% loss so it was okay hindi ako nag cut loss at this point and then there it is that's the important of importance of not cutting your losses very near the support and there it is and the question about eToro is legit po ba ito yes legit po ang eToro i understand you're you're seeing issues yeah, uh, about withdrawing this happened last year but it's not because hindi sila legit or wala silang pera it was because last year if you recall yun yung boom ng cryptocurrency ng bitcoin if as if if you know bitcoin you can you can trade bitcoin here in eToro eToro did not expect the boom of bitcoin last year right nag boom bigla ang daming gumawa ng eToro accounts ang daming nag gain ang daming gusto mag withdraw sabay-sabay eToro did not have the uh the have the man, had the man, enough man manpower to process the withdrawals last year kaya medyo natagalan yung withdrawal sila but na withdraw naman right um the, the issue is walang the issue is not hindi walang pera um, but the issue was just hindi lang napaghandaan yung crypto boom but now they are ready for it if ever it happens again they have enough uh, they have enough uh, what you call this enough manpower for this i also talked to them and i told them this is the concern of the filipinos so they hired a, uh, what they call it, a dedicated Filipino support. Yan si Jeff Guo, uh, ang dyan yan sa, chat, uh, sa Billionaires Club, whenever I post something about eToro, um, he's there, he watches the post if ever may question sa mga tao. Question, if eToro is legit, yes. Tanggandahan nito, you can copy people. You can copy people here, o pwede nyo po akong kopyahin. I'm keeping my port public so that you can see. Um, and um, right now, this month, nag 6.68 gain na po ako. Right, uh, I'm gonna be talk taking profits um, anytime soon. Right, pag na hit na yung risk to reward ratio ko, but so far yung um, si gold naman kasi is ang ganda pa rin ng movement na momentum ni gold. So hindi ko muna ibebenta. Wala naman ako nakikita pang sell signal. Problema kay ito hindi pa de mag sell half. Eh. So I can't really apply the sell half na technique na tinu tinuro ko sa inyo. But so far the chart is looking good. Right, pa trend na siya, higher lows and then there it is. Okay naman yon. Hindi pa naman siya mataas ang RSI. So I'm still keeping my gold. Ayan. So I hope you can hear me properly. Right, wala bang problema. Right, naririnig. Ayan. Okay. So yun good that everyone is hearing me. Let me go back to you guys. Ayan. Um. Mga pala guys, paki-share po yung video. Please share the video. Today's topic is very uh, useful, especially for newbies. Paki-share po sa Facebook wall ninyo and to your trading groups para ang mga newbies doon makita nila na may program na ganito na nakakatulong sa kanila at ma um, they can send out their questions. Um, also to your walls para yung friends nyo ma-curious naman what stock market is. At, at least they can it can spark their curiosity. It starts from there kasi eh. Right? So please share the video. That's my request po sa inyo. Right, Joel Legares, good morning. Right, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Merry Christmas. Chart request po from Hops, SCC, IRC, and MPI. Thanks, these stocks are looking good. Ang ganda ng mga pinipili mo kasi nasa baba. Right, that's what I am trying to teach everyone. Please, sa baba po yung mga piliin nyo stocks. Huwag po yung nasa, nasa taas sa para antay natin yung, sa, uh, yung buy signal na lang. Arman Taglao, right, Hops. Daanan natin yan mamaya. Armand Tanglao. Good morning, sir. Rodrigo Calas. Good morning. Rich Chrysostomo. Good morning. Uh, Neil Bersamin. Merry Christmas from DB Manila BGC. Ayan. Good morning sa inyo, Neil Bersamin and the DB, DB Manila G BGC. Hop, sir. Ano input nyo kay PHA? Pwede po ba magbodega? Actually, do, tagal ko nang um, rinarecommend si PHA para magbodega. Let's check out PHA in a bit. Right. PHA, yes, ang ganda ng company na yan. Right. It's now involved in the build, build, build. Also, nag-open sila ng dalawang limestone um, mining plant sa Palawan. That's very good. Right, that's very good for their business. Then they have foreign buyers. That's a very lucrative business. Right? So, ang ganda ng movements ni PHA lately. Yes, bodega po kayo ng PHA whenever it dips. Right? While it's really cheap as of the moment. Monet Lagman. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Everyone, um, Friday profit-taking day, last day of trade for the year. Merry Christmas a lot. Not really last day of trade for the year. Right? There are, um, ang walang trading days lang, 24, 25, 31, and 
As far as I can remember, those are the three days na walang trading. I believe may may trading next week, yeah. Right. And it, Monday, Tuesday is uh, Christmas Eve. And Tuesday is 25, so walang trading dyan. 26, 27, 28. Let me double check my schedules again, right? I haven't checked really my schedules. Ang, yun lang yung nabasa ko pa lang kasi. I'm gonna be double checking on that. I'm gonna be posting something in the, the Billionaires Club for that. If th For those... Who knows the answer? Please post it to the comments also. Trading days. Is this the last trading day? Ang concern ko lang is today is gonna be a very long weekend. Uh, um, so, most probably mag profit taking day ngayon. Baka bumagsak si market kasi ilang araw walang trading. So, be careful with your positions. Let's talk about that in a while. Alright? Um, Tristan Pocadas. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Paki po. Uh, now and ISM. Thanks. Si ISM nagpupullback na naman kahapon. So, we'll check it out. Alright. Anyways, andun pa naman sa support si ISM. Nag-hold pa rin naman yung support eh. And now, the end is near. <laughs> and see now. Tib Guapo Daddies. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. To my wife watching from South Korea. Nyong asayo sa inyo. Good morning. Alright. Tib Guapo Daddies is one of my students. Speaking of students, guys. Join the seminar this December 29th. Right, sa Manila in Makati. Right, huwag niyo pong sasayahin yung opportunity na yan. That's sponsored by 2Trade Asia. Pasensya na wala yung logo ng 2Trade Asia dito ngayon kasi I'm using a different platform kasi I had system issues uh, kanina sa isang trading. Ano ko kaya na-delay tayo. Eh. Right, so I used a different one na lang. Um, December 29 po, Makati. Join that. It's gonna cut your learning curve significantly so that pagdating ng next year, market sentiments will be good I believe so. It will be continuing going up. Kasi lumilit na yung, uh, lumilit na yung inflation. Especially in December, ang daming pera ng mga tao. So, most probably babagsak yung inflation. Uh, magtutuloy-tuloy yung pag ng stock market. It's good that you will be taking advantage of the stock market instead on its bearish run. Hindi yung nangangapa pa kayo habang bullish yung market. Sayang yung panahon at pera. Yeah, enroll nyo na lang po sa seminar ko those who cannot join the December 29 schedule tomorrow and Sunday I have a 9 in the o'clock in the morning seminar it's online, it's a webinar so kahit saan po kayo sulok sa mundo I can teach you how to trade and it's a very good seminar don't take my word for it um, tanongin nyo po yan si Dave Guapodadis and uh, my previous students you can check out their testimonials doon po sa Facebook ko Financial Freedom 101 and don't put sa ratings. Alright, Cassie, uh, John, Visaya, good morning, Sir Lloyd, Pasuya po na CLI, SMC, and SEC, P Gold, and RRHI. Let's check these out. Alright. Um, Vicente Jr. Datiles, Sir Lloyd, ano po kaibahan ng common share at preferred share? Very good question. Ang common share kasi, is, ito yung mga hinahawakan ng nasa tao sa stock market. Preferred shares are much more expensive. May mga special perks ang preferred shares. Right? So, priority sila sa uh, mga dividends, sa mga ganun. So, par mas mahal ang preferred shares. Common shares yung tinitrade natin sa stock market. Yan. Um, lesser perks, least, least priority tayo whenever uh, whenever there are perks on the stock uh, on the stocks. Well, I'm gonna make one more uh, 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 good episode about that, Vicente. Right? Pagandaan ko po yan para ma-explain ko po lahat sa inyo. That's a very good question. Junjun Catalan, good morning everyone. Good morning then. Um, my buntag Sir Lloyd and Laika from Kellen's Dagger. Uh, Claire Manzano, good morning everyone. Merry Christmas po sa lahat. Po shout out sa mga Palumpok South, mga taga Palumpok Mga palumpok tuloy. Mga taga palumpok South Cotabato. Thank you, Sir Lloyd, for being part of our daily routine. God bless you more. God bless you too. Merry Christmas po sa inyo. Alright. Claire Manzano, thank you so much. Amancio Akas, good morning, Sir. El Razo, good morning, Sir Lloyd, and to your family. Insights kay MHC and EW po. Yan. Um, the, the stocks are doing well. I hope nakapasok ka kay MHC. Uh, umakit yun and I did recommend MHC a few weeks ago. Thanks. Very uh, Merry Christmas. Tingnan natin yan mamaya. Dana, Angela, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Would you recommend TUGS for investor? I would recommend TUGS. Ang ganda ng movement ng TUGS and they're expanding into energy. Right? Pumapasok na sa energy sector. Meron silang power plant. I don't know if I should be disclosing that. I'm not sure. Right? Galing sa <laughs> kaibigan ko yun. Eh. Right? <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. They're, they're good to invest in. Right? I'm also invested in TUGS. Yes. Pwede yan. Um, Jolly Caris, happy holidays to all. Yeah, and happy holidays po. Um, Bernadette Abio, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning and happy holiday to my daughter, 
Jadmin too. Ayan. Bernadette and your daughter Jadmin. Good morning. Ani wa sayo from Korea. Hi, my Villa Floor. Rola na Jamela. Hamela. Bicor po. Ayan, si Bicor. Guys, si Bicor, kung intraday trader kayo, pwede niyong pasukin and take advantage of the momentum. But if you're a position trader, please don't. Wag na po. If hindi kayo marunong mag-intraday trade or mag-momentum trade, wag niyo pong susubukan with your real money. Alright? If you wanna test it out, yes, test it with small amounts lang kasi out of position na yan. Anytime soon, we're expecting a pullback. So, pullback na lang tayo pumasok uh, when it bounces. Kazel John Visaya, Sir Pasuyo din po ng Tel. Tel is in my recommendations pa rin today. AC, yan si AC din, nasa recommendation ko today. MPI, Meg, RLC, and GTCAP. Si GTCAP nag-break out eh. Right, you can check, test it out. Let's check out GTCAP's chart in a while. Right, um, AGI din po, actually, yan po, uh, yan po ang port ko as investor. I believe na fundamentally sound po. These are very good picks, right? Together with CLI. Yes, these are very good picks, right? Uh, investor ka sa mga stocks na ito. That's good. I hope nag-average down ka when the bullish market started. Sila AGI, patuloy-tuloy-tuloy na yung pag-akyat. Even, uh, G even GT cap. So CLI, let's check out CLI then later. Uh, CLI is a very good company. Uh, kaso nga lang, sentiments lang ng market is bearish right now with CLI. So, antay natin yung reversal niya. Budega lang. Angelo Rubia, sir, nagsiset ba kayo ng time, time stop if ilang days and hindi pa rin mag-materialize bias nyo? Thank you po. As much as possible, I don't, Angelo. Right? As much as possible, I don't. Right? Um, kaya ginagawa ko is test buy lang kasi at least may pera pa akong pang test ng others. Right? Um, hindi ko mo i-all in dito para hindi maipit ang pera ko. If I see another stock and um, maganda rin siya at maganda yung position, um, I'm gonna use a portion of my money to to buy on that uh, to buy that stock and then unahan na sila sinong unang mag uptrend um, yun ikikip ko ibebenta ko ito at ililipat ko doon to buy more of that stock on the uptrend um, buy position right so ganoon ang ginagawa ko as much as possible uh, yun ang iniintay ko right i keep maximum tolerance hindi ko po gagalawin yan as much as possible kasi i know you've experienced this the moment you sell the stock doon siya lumilipat so as much as possible provide uh, maximum tolerance on your stock, right? Nangyari yan sa kibigan ko kay sa VUL, right? Um, nainip siya kasi ang haba ng ano, ang haba ng consolidation ng VUL, di ba? Then, uh, uh, when he sold it, two days after, lumipad si VUL na napakataas, right? So, sayang, right? So, ganun. Uh, Angelo Rubia, um, Julian Ong, good morning, sir. STI po, thank you. Right, uh, we'll write down STI. Kumaganda ang position ni STI, yeah. Right. Did recommend STI on the entry point sa baba. Right. Good thing. Pumasok kayo doon. Let's check it out if medyo pa bang pasukin ulit ngayon. Raquel Necessito. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ayan. Good morning din. Unes 6-2. Uh, kailangan na natin ng ISM internet sinasabotay live stream ni Sir Lloyd. Mumble, Sir. Okay na, Sir. Right. Good morning, Sir. Lloyd, see you in Makati on the 29th. John Paul Antolin. Yes, yeah, see you on the 29th, All right? Um, Kassel, John Visaya, sir, kailan po safer pumasok kay SMC? Let's check out SMC. Ayan, right? This is a very good question. Let's check out SMC. I'm gonna share my screen. SMC. Ayan, tanggalin ko lang ito. Tanggalin ko ito. And let me go full screen. Tang um, load ko lang ang chart ko. SMC. Ayan, si SMC. Jet. We're just waiting for the bounce. This is an engulfing pattern. Right? This is an engulfing pattern. This is very good. Right? I love this pattern. Antayin natin stabilization before we wanna get in. I'm expecting SMC to bounce at around this point. If it bounces at around this point and it makes a divergence, that's my entry point. Right? That will be the time I'll be testing SMC. So, iniintay ko lang yung bounce niya anytime soon. Right? It should bounce anytime soon. Pag nag-bounce yan, pasok sa banga. Ayan. ire -re ko yan si SMC. Pero ngayon, wala pang bounce. Always wait for the bounce. Antayin po natin yan. Very good question, uh, Kassel. Right. Lawrence Basilio. Uh, good morning, Sir Lord from Dubai. Any thoughts po kay ISM, SMPH, and um, ISM, SMPH. These are very good companies. ATN is for long term. Budega lang ng budega. ATN is in my picks for today, if I'm not mistaken. Ay, tinanggal ko lang. Si ATN is doing a bounce. Tinanggal ko lang sa list ko, just to make my list short. But alam nyo na po si ATN, that's a good support right there. Nag-hold yung support. Pwede nyo po pasukin yan. Right? So, test by kayo. This is a support already for ATN. 
uh, let me share my screen. Ayan, si ATN. That's already a support right there. Yeah, that's a confirmation of support. 1, 2, 3. Apat na beses po na hold yung support na yan. So, this is a good support for ATN. Ta 3, tapos apat. <laughs> no ba yan? Tatlong beses po nag-hold yung support na yan. So, that's a good support for ATN. You can test that out. Right? Sa mga investors, this is a good time to buy more. Right? For ATN. Right, um, J Balta, sorry, good morning po from Jeddah here. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Rene Tado, good morning Sir Lloyd from Riyadh. Uh, Rene, Re, uh, Rene, Rainer, <laughs> Edward, Juliesa, Sir Lloyd. Good morning. Okay ba bang investment si ELI? Siyempre, okay naman investment si ELI. Uh, but let's check out the position. Baka masyadong mataas na. On a 2 ASMR, sir, na mark na next time, sir. <laughs> Sige, testing natin mamaya. All right. Tingnan ko yan. Sana may mag-sponsor. Right. Roland Jamela, okay lang audio, sir. All right, that's very good. Sir, legit po ba yung eToro? That was from Mona Lisa. Yes, legit po ang eToro. Don't, no, don't, don't worry about eToro. It's a very legit platform. Ang tagal na po niyan sa market si eToro. Check out the history of eToro. 2007 pa yan andyan si eToro. If it's not legit, it should have been closed by now. All right, nagka-problema lang talaga sila last year with that crypto boom. Adelaida, uh, we hear you loud and clear. Sir Lloyd, excited about your topic today. Good morning. God bless to you and your family. Adelaida, good morning. And Sir Lloyd, X and APX po. Let, let's, let's write these down. Alright. Pasensya na talaga kanina sa, uh, sa issues with the tech. Alright. Um, Rene Tado, Sir Lloyd, please PIP. Dagang salamat si PIP. Showing good signs in PIP. Yeah. So let's check this out. Um, Ralph JVR Morning Sir, po shout out sa parents ko. Obet at Luz, pati tita ko sa Sol. Ayan. <laughs> Hirap basahin na na. Nanood kami habang bumabiyahe. Ayan. Ingat sa inyo dyan. Right. Ingat sa biyahe. Ru Ruthenil Ross, good morning sir. Watching from Marhan Island. Paul Mark Celeste, parang basag ang speed ang speaker, yun nga eh, microphone ko parang basag eh. Medyo matagal-tagal na kasi itong microphone na ito. Pasensya na. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Howdy to all some Buanga traders. Bakit? Uh, kaya tulog pa si MRP. Um, yun, um, yeah, audio is di maganda. Good morning. Pakicheck po yung tech. LR. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pakibati na rin po kay VLL. Right, thanks po. Norberto Balat Bat. Yan. Tingnan natin si VLL. Alright. I'll stop here muna. Alright. We'll go to our topic and then um, puntahan natin ulit yan sila. Alright. Costco and VLL ATN. VLL Costco Alright. Sige. Uh, pasensya na again sa um, sa audio but I'll do my best. Alright. Uh, that's our mission. Hindi, hindi matitigil ang mission natin dyan. Moving average 20. What is the moving average 20 and how does this help you in your trading? Yan po yung topic natin ngayon. Again, thank you to Trade Asia, our sponsors. A little plug lang. This is my duty to my sponsors then na tumutulong sa atin. To Trade Asia, yan. To Trade Asia, if you're looking for a broker, ang ganda po na To Trade Asia. I'm gonna be making a video about To Trade Asia over the weekend. Ang ganda ng platform nila. You can check it out. If you join my seminar on December 29, instead of opening na 25K kasi yung opening nila, eh, minimum opening nila. Right? Instead of 25K, you can open an account with just 5,000 pesos. That's the perk of joining my seminar. So, join my seminar. Maka-open pa kayo ng mura kay To Trade Asia. And then, that's worth it. It's really worth it for your trading. So, check out To Trade Asia, to trade Asia .com. If you're looking for a broker na mabilis, and if you're always outside, if nagda-drive kayo, or may trabaho kayo, or may negosyo kayo, I would recommend To Trade Asia kasi may mobile app sila for trading. Right? At least sa mobile phone yun yun, makapag-trade po kayo. Right? So, that's our sponsor, eToro then Check out eToro. Pinakita ko po sa inyo si eToro kanina. Right? May 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 link po ako sa eToro dyan sa baba. Right? That's the link to my, what they call this, link to my, uh, to my, what they call this, Ah, nawawala ako sa, ano ko. Basta, may link po dyan for eToro. That will help me in return. If you create an eToro account, please use that link instead. Right? Huwag po yung dadiretso kay eToro. Right? Kasi natutulungan ako ni eToro that way. If you use my link. Create an account. It's for free. You can test out the, uh, you can test out the platform. Bibigyan ko po kayo ng 100,000 USD. 
na virtual funds if you create my uh, you, the link uh you cre create an account using the link you can test it out and then if ever you're ready you understand the platform already you can then add funds wala pong limit uh wala pong you can you can copy people for just two hundred dollars right right now um i'm already earning six almost seven percent uh for this month if you copied me early this month um, you would have been earning already 6% from that $200. As low as $200 and then you can increase onwards kung magkano po yung budget niyo. You can copy trade me or trade other people here dito sa, uh, dito sa what they call this, uh, dito sa platform ng eToro. Right? Check it out. Um, yan. MA20, what is moving average 20? On your charts, uh, tanggalin ko lang si Bollinger Bands, si RSI, I'm gonna go full screen. Pakita ko po sa inyo paano mo pull up si MA20. So just go to indicators, right? Then go to moving average right there. And then it's a blue uh, it's a blue line. I'm just gonna edit the color of the line. Settings right here. Right. Going po natin yellow para mas klaro and then pakapalan po natin. There it is. That yellow line you're seeing on the screen right now, that is the moving average 20. Right? Moving average 20. What is moving average 20? It's the average of 20 closing prices ng stock. For example, let me go to line graph right here. So this area right here, the close ang price is 1.51. The moving average during this time is around 1.44 because this is the average of 20 closing prices, right? This is the average of 20 closing prices, right? So, yeah, that is the moving average 20, right? You can move, you can edit this moving, uh, oh no, this is MA9. You ch have to change this to 20 first. Uh, by default, 9 yung lumalabas. You have to change it to 20 first by clicking on here, dito sa taas, upper left. G click on the format, yung, yung gearbox dyan. And then, change the length to 20. So, this is the MA20 now. Kanina, by default, it is at MA9. That is for 9 days na average. I use, uh, you have to move it to MA20, right? MA20 na siya ngayon. That's the MA20 now. So, this is the average of 20 closing prices, right? Now, that's MA20. Right? Simple as that. That's the that's moving average 20. Kasi nagmo-move siya every day whenever something closes. Nagmo-move rin siya yung buntot niya sa MA20. Nagmo-move then kung saan siya nag-average. That's why it's moving average 20. Now, how do you use it for your trade? I use it with my Bollinger Bands. If I show up Bollinger Bands, parehas lang lang yung linya, yung yellow. Tingnan nyo. Kumakapal yung yellow. Tit, tit, tit. Yan. So, simple, same linea lang. So, if you pull out Bollinger Bands, automatically, it pulls out MA20 also. Right? The default of Bollinger Band is, ito na sa upper left, that is 20 and 2. Right? The length is 20, that's moving average 20, and multiplier niya is 2, meaning that's 2, um, what do you call this, dalawang deviation from the MA20. Right? That, that's a different topic naman. We'll focus now on the MA20. Alright, so how do you use MA20 for your trade? Mm. Okay. I use MA20 as my short-term trend indicator. Short-term meaning mga weeks to weeks to a month lang ang trading ko, right? If I enter the stock, I usually just hold it for a week. Depende if, as long as uptrend pa siya, actually as long as MA20 holds. For example, ito si A ATN. Look at this right here. So right now si ATN, uptrend now, we're seeing a higher low. This is a good support for ATN. Let me remove um, MA to, uh, let me remove Bollinger Bands. So, kahit support lang, this is good price action here at this area right here. So, somehow it's forming a support at this area. <coughs> right? Sorry. So, I'll draw a line there. Dito muna ako. Look at the trend of ATN. <coughs> Initial entry, where does it bounce? MA20. Usually, right? Most of the time, um, sa observation ko po, MA20 ang pinaka magaling manghula ng bounce and the trend. Look at this right here, dito sa baba. I'm gonna zoom in here. Nag-uptrend siya. Look at where it bounced at MA20. And then after bouncing at MA20, nagtuloy-tuloy na po siya. 
the moment it broke MA20, it changed its trend. Na iba na yung trend. Tapos na yung uptrend, bumaba na siya right here. So, now it's forming a support. I mean, before that support, we, this is the lowest point, right? And then, nag-bounce. And then, it broke MA20. This, whenever MA20 is broken and closes above or below it, that means the trend has changed. This downtrend most probably is finished, right? Is it right? Nag-bounce siya here. So, tapos na downtrend, doesn't mean na uptrend na siya. Pag tapos na downtrend, it can go sideways or uptrend, right? At least tapos na downtrend. It, it was right, right? Wala na downtrend, it, we're seeing higher lows already. And there it is. Broke the MA20 again. So, we know that the trend has changed already. And now, it is showing us a higher low. So, this was the initial entry point sana natin because it formed the support. This is a higher low. That's a confirmation of a high, uh, possible uptrend. And there it is. Umakit siya after that. And then, where is it bouncing? Look at that. At MA20. If you, you use a line graph here, look at that. At MA20, malapit sa MA20, nagpa-bounce siya here. And here, if we use the candlestick, MA20 bounce. MA20 bounces. And then, as long as MA20 holds, at this point, si MA20 na broken na. So, most probably, mag-change na naman ang trend. Tapos na yung uptrend. And it was right. We're seeing lower highs now. This is a downtrend already. But somehow, na clip kya si MA20, close above MA20 again. So this is a short downtrend. <clears throat> we have a support. So the trend has changed again. Right? Very short term trend change. We have a support right here for ATN. And there it is. This is what we used sa SSI na trade natin. We have a very big win kay SSI from this point right here. At this point, si SSI nagsusupport. Right? Let me just remove RSI. Oops, sorry. Right? So, here. Um, SSI, at this point, is forming a good support. Right? It's starting to clip MA20, but there it is. Look at that right there. Ang ganda ng support niya. If we check RSI at this point, <clears throat> we have a divergence. Pataas ng RSI even if the price is sideways. So, this is already a good support. This is a buy signal. Right? If hindi kayo pumasok dyan sa support, this is why I always tell you test buy. <clears throat> hindi nyo ito nasakyan. Ito sudden spike. If you use Bollinger Band, it did trigger the Bollinger Band. I use MA20 with my Bollinger Bands. Usually, pag nag-touch yun sa upper Bollinger Band, that's a significant move. This usually sparks an uptrend. Right? Pero huwag nyo po sa papasukin dyan. This is where MA20 plays a very important role. You wait for pullbacks, especially during this time, bearish yung market, pullbacks po ang abangan natin. And, you don't have to be really aggressive. Wait, always wait for the pullback on a bearish market. There it is, the pullback. Where did it stop? MA20 line. Right? That is our buy area. But don't buy it yet. Right? Wait for the bounce. There's the bounce right there. It opened at 1.87. That will be our entry point. At the end of the day, swerte natin, bumalik pa siya 1.90. You could have entered here. This is the confirmation that MA20 is holding. I will get in here if ever hindi ako kapasok dito. We did talk about this during this time. Antay niyo po sa MA20. I said, buy it now kay SSI. Nag-fail pa siya. The next day, opened very high. Nag-sell off. But MA20 has been holding. You use MA20 as your support. And then, the next day, it gave us another confirmation of that MA20. Kung hindi kayo pumasok dito kasi natakot kayo, this is another confirmation that MA20 is holding. That will be another entry point for you guys sa mga, na, ma, mga conservative traders na takot talagang pumasok. This is a confirmation for that. And there it is. Nag-uptrend na siya, higher low, near MA20 again, but ang hirap na hulihin after that. Then, the moment it breaks MA20, Look at here. MA20, nag-bounce pa siya. It attempted to go up again. But this time, it failed na. Right? And it collapsed. It closed below MA20. That is a signal that the trend is changing. It might go sideways or it might go downwards. Right? In this case, nag-sideways siya. It's forming a support at this area right here. Right? Right? There's the support. So, sideways siya. 1, 2, 3. That will be our entry point. 
at this buy signal right here this is a green but look and look at the volume this is a very good buy point this is the moment i recommended ssi again because of this one two three three times the support was hit good price action we have a good buying uh, which is backed up by good volume and there it is higher low and nagtuloy tuloy na si SSI look at that MA20 again near MA20 nagpa bounce siya there it is after na siya where did it bounce again MA20 this is why I love MA20 and this stock alone ilang, ilang beses na kayo tinulungan MA20 di ba this stock alone right and then the moment it collapses and breaks MA20 its trend changes this time nag downtrend siya saglit lower highs lower lows but we have a good support here again and then it broke MA20 SSI broke MA20 again you know where this is going that's why I recommended SSI yesterday because of this support we have a support right here RSI is starting to go up already this is the reason why I recommended SSI 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 limang beses na po na test yung support na yan. it's been holding so I recommended it kahapon lumipad na siya I don't want to recommend it anymore today why? because it's already high risk right? ang taas na po ng risk nyo dyan diba? mataas na so it's 6.59 na po away from support you add 3 that's around ar already 10% of risk I don't want you to go after this antayin lang natin yung higher low niya before we want to get in. Right? I hope that's clear. Not just in this stock. Paboritong stock ko, si JFC. Alright, look at look at the uptrend of JFC. When it broke MA20, that's the retracement, that's the higher low, that should be our entry point. When it broke MA20, nag-change na yung direction niya, umakyat na. Where is it bouncing? MA20, 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 MA20. This is why I love MA20. Jollibee, simple as that. ME20, look at this right here. Downtrend, it broke ME20. That's the uptrend. Where is it bouncing? ME20. When it broke ME20 again, it changed the trend. Naging downtrend siya. Right? So, this is why I love MA20. Right? Not just GFC. Marami pa. Um, ang mga sikat ngayon, si FDC. Ang laki na ng akit ni FDC for how many days. But if FTC, if DC tuloy, FDC gave us a buy signal near MA20. There it is, right there. Diba? So, that was our, our buy signal. Bollinger Bands, FDC. This is the calm before the storm. Lesson ko po sa inyo yan sa Bollinger Bands. And there it is. Tumuloy-tuloy na si FDC. Ang hirap na habulin dito. So, we wait for it at MA20. When it went near MA20, ang hirap lang. Medyo malayo-layo pa eh. But already, the price action was already there. So, it would have been a good entry for FDC. And then, tumuloy na si FDC for 3 days. But yeah, MA20 has been hold, um, has been has been helpful for us. Si LR. Si LR. Uh, kahapon. Very strong bounce of LR after clipping the upper Bollinger Band. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Huwag niyo pong habulin sa Bollinger Band. Antayin niyo po yung pullback. Stabilize at this area. Made a support. Right? MA20 bounce. Very massive volume yesterday. I don't want to recommend LR today because medyo mataas na ang risk. Right? Diba? Negative 5 na kayo. Best entry was yesterday at MA20. Test it out. Hindi naman uh, hindi naman 100% sa MA20 gumagana but usually nagbabounce dyan. LR, LRW same. Siguro, blue chips pa rin. Uh, let's try another blue chip. Look at that right there. Saan siya nagbabounce? MA20 right there. MA20 right there. Right? The moment MA20 was broken right, nagsa sideways na siya. That was a good support. This was the time I recommended AEV. Right? Narecommend ko sa AEV during this time. And then there it is. Nag-akit na. Best entry point at this point. Huwag niyo ha, bullin sa upper Bollinger Bands. MA20, taas, MA20. Bollinger Band trigger, MA20. Bollinger Band trigger again, MA20. Diyan po niyo, dyan niyo po sasaluhin. Right now, it did close below MA20, but nag-recover naman kaagad siya for AEV. But yeah, that's the beauty of MA20. You can use MA20 as your support. This can also tell you the trend of a stock. If ever, uh, ang direction niya is, tulad nito, paakyat na, that means the stock might be going on an uptrend. It is, right? Then the moment it 
looks down. Most probably, it's gonna be doing a downtrend. And there it is. Nag-downtrend siya. And then, the moment it looks up again, pat um, titingin na namin siya sa taas. Alright. The moment it starts looking up, antay natin. Starts looking up. Uptrend na siya. There it is. So, antayin lang natin yung retracement niya. There it is. MA20. Antayin yung bounce. There's the bounce. That's your entry point. And there it is. MA20. That's the beauty of MA20. I use it as part of my trading. I use it with Bollinger Bands. I use it with RSI. Right? Ang laking tulong po nito ni MA20 with the RSI. During this time right here, meron tayong RSI divergence. But anyways, lagi ko naman tinuturo sa inyo yan. That's MA20. Do you have any questions about MA20? Please post it on the uh, on the comments. Tignan ko po yan before natin pag-usapan yung mga recommendations ko. Today, um, tignan natin. BPO feels... Uh, BPO feels ka ulit, sir. <laughs> yung nga eh, naka-headphones na naman. Tech nga po, bullish divergence spotted. Yes, tech has been showing us good uh, good ano, good spots. Or, or depende sa time frames. Based on your observation, sir, pag nag-lower ang price MA20, usually it does continue going down. Does it? Does observation depends on the trend? Bullish or bearish? Usually, pag na, na, nakiklip yung um, MA20, nag-change yung overall trend niya. Um, usually, like, example, this one right here. Um, Alright, so, we have a downtrend, possible downtrend here. But this clipped the, the ano, this is a possible downtrend, but this close above the MA20. So, usually, na you change yan for the short term, even for a week, right? This time, it failed the support, but, and like sideways yeah, at least, no na clip niya MA20. So, the, the, the trend changed from a downtrend to a sideways trend. We don't know when this sideways trend is gonna do a reversal. Maybe it's gonna go down further, maybe it's gonna go up. In this case, nag-aangat siya, as nga lang, uh, tested the support, so nag sideways. Meaning, after this downtrend right here, it clipped the Bollinger Band, I mean the MA20, the downtrend changed. Changed to sideways trend. We don't know if it's gonna go on an uptrend or still continue the downtrend. That's why we try to test if we see a support. Right now, it's on a sideways trend. We can test out the support in this area. But, <coughs> Bollinger Band triggers sa baba, so most probably this is gonna go down and nagbaba nga siya. Right? So right now, we're seeing a downtrend. We're seeing a downtrend. The moment it clips the Bollinger Bands again, right, I mean the MA20, like there. It closed above MA20 this time, so most probably this downtrend is finished. Diba? Finished in downtrend. So, we don't know if it's gonna go up or gonna go sideways. In this case, it did go up. There it is. Diba? When it clipped MA20, the trend changed. Ito naman, diretso siya nag uptrend after clipping the MA20. We don't know if it's gonna go on an uptrend right away or if it's gonna go on a sideways trend. Right? The moment it stops and closed below MA20 in this area right here, tapos na yung uptrend niya. Madaling, uh, it was a short uh, it was a short trend for an uptrend, but the moment it uh, the moment it really broke the MA20, nag to change yung trend, nag uptrend or mag sideways yan. Right? The moment it changed, it closed below the MA20, the uptrend stopped and nag downtrend kagad siya. Right? It changed again here from this downtrend when it closed above the MA20. So most probably this downtrend is finished and we don't know what the trend is gonna do. Let's see. This time it made it went sideways, and then clipped the upper uh, the MA20 again. There it is, sideways nasha. Right. So now we're just waiting for it to change the trend. The Bollinger Band told us na yung stability na ito has been finished. At may nanalo na most probably it's gonna go on an uptrend. There it is. That's why I want you to test out the support before this uptrend happens. Kasi, minsan, pag nangyari ito, magtuloy-tuloy na pag hindi na kayo makapasok. Kaya, testing nyo po yung support. We have a good support right here for good company. We have a divergence. Ang ganda po ng support na yan. That's where you test it out. And then, there it is. So, atin natin, bumalik pa siya ng konti. Price action-wise, gumagawa na siya ng support at this area. So, it's, it should bounce anytime soon. It's still very near support. And there it is. Uptrend na siya. So, yeah, just to be clear again, alright? Um, 
Good name, sir. Ang take mo kay CHP, maka-recover kaya dahil bukas na planta nila dyan sa Cebu. Um, Jeter, Calope, actually, yung planta nila sa Cebu, matagal ng bukas yan, na suspended lang because of the landslide. But they've been losing money even if bukas pa yan noon. So, I can't really say if mag-recover na yan si CHP. Alright? But tech, um, te technical analysis-wise, so far, so good naman. Okay naman ang ano, okay naman si Uh, okay naman ang kalaw ni uh, CHP. Good aim, Sir Lord. Medyo distorted lang sound yun. Pasensya na. My headphones has been, ano, is, ano, back up ko lang po kasi itong headphones ko, yung microphone ko, hindi ko magana. Um, MA20 times MA50. Sana next lesson, Sir Lord. Abner, yes. Yes, gawin ko yung lesson sa susunod. Alright, saan po consider MA20? Is it sa body ng candle or sa uh, wicks ng candle? Thanks. Junjun Katalan. Very good question. I, I consider the bodies, hindi lang yung wicks kasi may, Um, whips lang kasi yung uh, wicks eh, right? I always consider the body of the uh, of the ano, of the of the candlestick. Very good question. Right? Any thoughts on pheasant web tech nga po, bullish divergence spotted? Right? So that's our topic for today. I'm gonna go now to our um Fentes Kidrock. Are you, are you having issues with my audio? I think, eh, medyo distort, distorted lang. Sorry, sorry, went, uh, Kid Rock. Yan, so let's continue. I'm gonna go now to my picks for today. Ang bida natin ngayon, sila ABS-CBN. Ang gaganda ng mga positions for a very good stock. ABSP, number one. ABSP, recommending ABSP today. Swerte natin ito. It's forming a support right here at this area. Right, um, grabe ng divergence yan. Pababa ang presyo, but RSI is already going up. That's a good support. That's a good bounce. That's a good volume. Right? Test out this support right here. Your risk is only, uh, the support is only 2.68% away from support. So more or less, nasa 6% yung risk ninyo dito. That's a tolerable risk. This is a very good price for ABSP. Look at that. 1, 2, 3. Tatlong beses na po yung support na yan na hit And it's been holding. And when it, that support is, is hit, Each time that is hit, we have a divergence, strong divergence for ABSP. Wag niyo po sasayangin yung bottom na yan, very obvious bottom, ABSP. Pasukin niyo na po, test by niyo na yan. Right? ABSP, next is TEL. I'm still recommending TEL. Umaakit na siya for two days. I've been recommending it here. And wag niyo po sasayangin yung support. Right? Um, I'm recommending TEL still kasi maliit pa rin ang risk niya. Lumalaki niya ang risk ninyo by the day. It's now 3.68, pero hindi pa huli ang lahat. Right? So, pwede pa ang pasukin si Tel. Um, habang maganda pa yung position, Lopez. Ayan, si Lopez, still part of ABS. Ayan, MA20. There it is. The bounces at MA20 with uh, backed up by volume, which is increasing. So, maganda na itong position na ito for ABSP. I mean, Lopez. This is a good position. Pwede niyong pasukin yan. Lopez has been giving us good numbers. Third quarter, plus 55%. Maganda. Second quarter, plus 81%. They are giving us good numbers. First quarter, nga lang lang, medyo negative. But it's, they have already recovered. So this is a good position for LPZ2. MA20, kaka-discuss kaka lang natin about yan. ABS itself is a good company. Right? ABS-CBN. Right? Showing us a very good support right here. Right? Support here, um, pressure was going down, but RSI is already starting to go up. We have that support area right there. Here. So, you can use MA20 or kahit dyan lang yung support na yan. Look at this right here. Ang risk ninyo is negative 3% on from the main support. It goes here, negative 3% from the main support. So, napakaliit pa rin ang risk. You can test out the support. You can bargain kung, kung lalapit pa yan dyan sa support. That will be good. Or, wait, uh, you can use a breakout strategy. Pag nag-breakout yan, pwede nyo pong breakout ang gamitin. At least, maliit yung risk ninyo. MA20 and the main support is there. Napakaliit po ng risk ng company ngayon ni ABS. So, that's good. And then, my plus, my good news pa. My condition si President Duterte sa kay ABS-CBN. Um, para sa threats ni President Duterte. So, meaning, kung may condition, that means there's a big chance na makakabalik naman sa ABS-CBN. So, that's, that should not be a problem. Right? Next pick ko for today is food. Yan, si food. Lalakasan ko lang ang boses ko. So, just so makarinig po kayo na maayos, pasensya na po. Pag na-trigger po, madagdag na kasi di po nag-test buy sa MA20 po. Di, 
hindi nakapag-test by sa MA20 po, huwag niyo pong papasukin, um, I think this is what you mean. This is from Sadako pa roon. Right, if ever, hindi kayo nakatest by dito sa support and then if it goes up and then breaks MA20, doon kayo magdadagdag no. Wait for the retracement and bounce before you wanna get in. Right? Huwag niyo po, nag dito sa baba, look at this right here. Dito sa baba, hindi kayo nagtest by sa support. Diba? Kay food. Nag-break siya na MA20. Dito kay bibili? No. That's wrong. Wait for it to go back and make a bounce. That's our entry point for food. Bumalik ulit siya and then nag-bounce. Antayin niyo po yung bounce sa baba as much as possible. Don't be aggressive. Huwag niyo pong papasukin sa ganitong position na Uy, gikan sa galing sa baba. Hindi ako nakatest by. Uy, nag-break na MA20. Buy more. Patay kayo. Right? Ipit kayo kaagad. Right? So, wait for it to bounce again before you wanna get in on that MA20. Um, Kijun Pio, hello Sir Lloyd, pwede pa si Lips, IRC and FNI. Let's check that out in a while. But eh, today, si Food, recommended ko si Food ngayon, has been holding the support strongly. That's a confirmation again after this doji. You can buy food. Ang ganda po ng numbers ni Food, third quarter plus 556, second quarter plus 436%. That's amazing numbers, right? First quarter plus 930%. Amazing numbers for this year's si food. So, yeah, test din po yung support ng NK Food. Ang ganda po ng projection kay Food, right, as a company. Next up is DNL. I'm recommending DNL today. Good volume yesterday. We have a higher low bounce for DNL. The volume should be backing it up. That's a good support. We'd recommend DNL here. There it is again. That's a higher low for DNL. You can get in DNL. Habang mura pa si DNL. Ang ganda ng company na ito. DNL should be a company you be, you will be getting into. Right? Possible umakit na naman yan. Next sa DNL, sa picks ko for today, last lang si AC, Ayala Corporation. Still recommending AC. After yesterday, nag-confirm ng support. And there's that confirmation right there. It's backed up by healthy volume. So, this is a good bottom to invest in kay Ayala Corporation. Napakamura pa ng presyo na for AC overall sa pwede niya i-accat. Right? So, AC. I'm recommending AC for today. Very good support. Right? So, those are my picks for today. ABSP, Tel, Lopez, ABS, Food, DNL, and AC. I'm gonna put it on the comments. Now, I'm gonna go to your... Uh, what they call this, sa mga, ano ninyo, sa mga request ninyo ngayon. SEC, tignan natin si SEC, kamustahin natin. So, somehow, SEC, um, downtrend pa rin eh. Not seeing any stabilization yet for SEC. Somehow, it's, this support is holding, antayin lang natin yung bounce. Hopefully, mag-gawa siya ng sideways support. Uh, but right now, ayun, ang ganda naman pala yung divergence ni SEC. Yeah, right? SEC has a divergence here. Ang ayaw ko lang kay SEC talaga is, we discussed about this, sabi ko sa inyo, the, one of the reason, um, one of the best factor na makakatulong sa stock ninyo na tinitingnan is the third quarter earnings on a bearish market. So, third quarter earnings, look at this, negative 79% si SEC. That's a significant number. Kaya ayaw ko, i-recommend muna talaga si SEC. We might be seeing a stabilization here soon, but I'd rather not put my money there. I really can't recommend SEC as of the moment, right? So, ingat lang muna. Hantayin natin gumawa ng support. Pag gumawa ng support yan, maybe we can test it out. Right for SEC. But right now, wag lang muna. Tsaka red pa naman yan. Right? Um, um, yan, may mga request. Uh, daanan natin yan later. Hopefully, ma we still have enough time para ma-cover natin ang lahat. Okay? Pasensya na if hindi ko masasagot lahat. IRC, um, we are seeing a good support kay IRC at this area. Right. So, dito sa area to, na ito, nagbabounce si IRC. Sometimes, it did clip bottom. Right. We have a secondary support here. But so far, this support has been holding. So, SEC, IRC, um, atin natin mag-bounce si IRC. Wait for IRC to bounce before we really wanna get in IRC. Somehow, we're seeing a downtrend pa kasi kay IRC. Eh. So, konti ingat lang muna. You can test out supports. Wag lang mag all in sa supports, okay? Um, IRC is definitely good for medium term lang muna siguro with the projects nila sa sa, sa subway. Di pa kasi natin nakikita yung numbers, eh, yung performance ng numbers ng subway. Usually, mamaya pa pag lumabas na yung, uh, lumabas na yung mga numbers ng earnings nila before umakit si aakit uh, isang stock like si ISM. Di ko pa yung expect na lilipad yan si ISM kaagad, which is good. 
Kasi makapag-bodega pa ako na mas mahaba-haba. The moment IS, uh, uh, ISM shows good numbers already on their third telco project, then you sh uh, that's usually when the stock prices go up. So right now, nag-iipon ako, nag-iipon habang mura pa for ISM. Right. So SCIRC, MPI. MPI. Let's check out MPI. Yan, si MPI. Price action wise, okay naman yung price action niya. The buying is already at a higher level. Kaso alam pula pa lang talaga. Or I can't, really can't recommend this yet. Baka bumaba pa eh. If you really wanna get in MPI, try to get uh, get in on a breakout. Pag nag-hold yung breakout from this um, short term downtrend ni MPI. That should be a good entry point. We are seeing a support right here for MPI. Right? So one, twice, Three times a lady. <laughs> right, so antayin natin na uh, um, pwede dito sa support or wait for the breakout lang for MPI. But overall, napakaganda po ng presyo ng MPI. Anytime soon, may hinug yan si MPI. Titignan natin yan every day si MPI. Pag nas may, may mag-breakout yan, papasukin natin yan si MPI. PHA, right now, wag lang muna. You don't have to be really aggressive, especially year-end na. Um, wala pa yung foreign buyings pa rin. Wala pa rin yung foreign buying, So, it's really not time to be aggressive yet. So, here. Um, PHA, very good question. Si PHA did clip the uh, Bollinger Band uptrend niya. Um, here, nag-fail yung MA20. So, we're looking for PHA to clip support again. Right. Support is here. Ayan, and then yung support niya. So, antay natin yung bounce before you wanna get in PHA. But definitely, bodega po kay PHA. This is a very good company. Ganda po ng mga projects nila yan. This spike right here, you're seeing, that is because of the, um, uh, ano yan, the, the two mining companies that they bought for in Palawan. Yung project nila na nakapasok sila sa build, build, build dahil dyan. Uh, sir, ilunch na shares nyo kay SM kung okay lang. I still have 100k. Uh, shares kay uh, kay ISM. Inawakan ko po yan. Actually, nung simula, may tinatrade ako na other half ko kay ISM. I've already sold half at the top. Yung isang kalahati ko, hinuhold ko na lang yan. Right. Um, asan na ako? The, the question for us was from Manuel Kadaing. Uh, Sir Lloyd, good morning. DT, MAC, MRC, ISM, B Corp. Medyo marami-rami yan. Unahin muna natin yung mga ano, yung mga uh, Naunang questions, right? ISM, ito, si ISM. Uh, ISM somehow is showing us a very good price action. So, nothing to worry about ISM. Ganda pa rin ang price action niya. It's still upwards. Pap Pataas pa rin yung price action ni ISM. So, nagko-consolidate lang siya. Most probably, it's gonna, um, it's doing a triangle right now. So, maybe it's gonna pop up or... Inaantay lang talaga in January 21. But the point is, I'm an investor here. I'm recommending ISM for investing. Right? Especially pag maganda yung takpo ng ano nila, at least nakapasok tayo dito. Same story with other stocks. Sila tell noon. Shaky pa yan. And then, they went well. Kaya lumalaki yung stock nila ngayon. Same with Globe. Yan. Every, every stock, stock uh, starts as shaky. Right? We are betting not on the current um, price value of ISM. As in, tinitingnan ng mga tao, uy, tres binili ni uh, Udena si ISM. So, most probably, 3 pesos daw ang presyo nito. Right, if it's 3 pesos, then good. Kung bababa man yan, then good. I don't think it is because we're looking at the future value of ISM. That's the reason why we invest in a company eh, for the uh, future of the company, di ba? And ISM, Udena has a very good future as a company. That's why I'm recommending ISM for long term. Next is now. Um, kay ISM, bodega lang po kayo dito sa support na ito. Ang ganda po ng support na yan. Si now naman, I do recommend now, the past few days, kasi gumagawa siya ng support. So hopefully this support sustains. Buy as long as the support holds. And then yung bounce and then you buy now. Right? Pero test buy lang sa support na yan. Huwag po kayo mag-all in. Um, yan. Um, guys, I know you get ra um, random lessons from me here sa, ano, sa, what they call this, uh, sa YouTube channel ko. But if you prefer a more systematic uh, teaching from me, meron po akong systematic teaching na gumagana naman po. Mas maganda po yun. Right? Join the seminars. I have a seminar tomorrow, 9 in the morning. Send me a message if you want to join that. Meron akong December 29. That's sponsored by 2Trade Asia. 
at their building, Lepanto Building in Makati. Ayan, sa penthouse po, ang ganda po ng venue. Huwag niyo po sasayangin. Ayan, you join that. Mas systematic po yung turo ko doon. Right? Um, next up is now CLI. Ayan, si CLI, somehow the support is holding. So, this is good for CLI. I really want this support to really be, uh, what they call this, to really hold longer. Right? Antay natin na mas, mas mag-solidify yung support na yan. Um, Bollinger Band should let us know if sta stable na yung presyo na yan. Pag nag-stabilize na yan, that will be a good entry point for CLI. Don't want to recommend CLI yet. Ang recommendation ko kay CLI is mag-bodega. Right? These, the, these were the best points for the bodega. Actually, this is a good point for bodega. If ever investor na mo kay CLI, that's good price action already right there for CLI to start buying more. Right. SMC, antayin natin yung bounce before we wanna get in SMC. Pinag-usapan natin yan kanina. SCC, pure gold. Ayan, pure gold. and pure gold naman. Ayan, sideways trend. Ayan, recommended to get in near the support as much as you can for pure gold. Antayin natin yung bounce before we wanna get in pure gold. But this is a very good price for pure gold for a very consistent company. Ayan, very consistent po yan sa earnings si pure gold. Right, kaso nga lang, market sentiments were very low. So, kaya bumababa pa siya ngayon. Right now, napakamura pa ni Pure Gold. So, you can test out Pure Gold if you want to on the bounce. Antayin niyo po yung bounce and test out that support. Next is RRHI. Si RRHI is forming a flag pattern. So, konti ingat lang muna. If you really wanna get in RRHI now, you can wait for the breakout of that flag pattern right there. Pero kung hindi po siya mag-breakout, antayin niyo po bumalik ito sa MA20 and then bounces at MA20. That will be our entry point sa, entry, sa MA20 niya, sa bounce sa MA20. It's 9.24 sa so last two stocks na lang. Pasensya na if hindi ko po masasagot lahat. MHC, ayan. MA20 bounces for MHC. So this is good for MHC. Kaso nga lang may nakita akong weakness sa trend ni MHC. This is, uh, the stock prices are going up but Ito, this is a bearish divergence for MHC. So, konti ingat kay MHC. Um, we are near that resistance. So, I don't really want to recommend MHC now. Kasi, ang hirap, right? The, the best entry point for MHC was here when it formed a divergence. Dito ko po siya recommend doon sa baba. Right, right now, medyo mahirap pa pasukin sa MHC. I really don't like entering at these positions right here. Nakikita nyo naman po sa mga recommendations ko. What I, wrote, what I usually recommend is andito sa baba. Mas maganda po yun na trading kaysa nagahabol kayo sa taas. And lastly, sa MHC is EW. Ayan, si EW, ayan, nag-doji lang si EW, but that's a breakout. Breakout strategy ka pa rin by, kay EW. Volume is still there. So yeah, use a breakout strategy for EW or get in your MA20 as much as you can. If ever, mag-pull back man siya. Alright, so that's it for today. Uh, it's gonna be a long weekend, so enjoy your weekend, everyone. Um, Christmas na next week, so for me, for my daughter, Laika, Merry Christmas po sa inyo. Enjoy your holidays, yeah, and spend time with your family, wag po puro trading ang iniisip natin. And again, December 29, I'll see you there in Manila, in Makati, uh, on December 29. Thank you po, thank you po. Enjoy your weekend. I'm gonna be making a video over the weekend para mapakita ko po sa inyo yung platform ng 2 Trade Asia. That's it for today. As always, let's get rich together. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. From Financial Freedom 101.